see them? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old timey country down home red state update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. I got a sponsor this week, Jackie, and I think you're really gonna yeah. you're really gonna like it. I don't know about that. Imagine, Jackie, a world where everybody had a beard uh. as thick and lustrous, make everybody wet as mine. Well, that is a world that is within reach because you can go on down to Spist's, right. Spiffy Uncle Marlin's Haircuts and Handshakes. Right. Jackie, you want to get down to Spiffy Uncle Marlin's Haircuts and Handshakes. They will turn your beard from a scraggly, shit-encrusted, All right. Watch him out. goat-smelling thing on your face to a thing of beauty that every woman wants to put her fingers up in. What are you, uh, uh, beard, what are they, cut hair, what are they? Spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes, oh, haircut, Jackie, yeah. is the hipsteriest barber shop in all of Northeast Murfreesboro. And everybody knows that Northeast Murfreesboro is the hipster section of Murfreesboro. Hipster, what? That's where they sell the pickles. That's where they make the small benches. That is where Spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes are. Jackie, you ought to go in there and let them do a number on your beard. I tell you oh. what, first thing, a man with a face tattoo is going to jitterbug over to you because they're oh, playing squirrel nut zippers. Oh, no, sure. And a girl with a ukulele comes out. What? And they're going Grab you by your beard hair and pull you over in a chair, and they're gonna, there's going to be cloves. Cloves? They're going to give you a shot of whiskey. Whiskey? Well, back in that western, that's what they used to do. You'd get shaved, you know, they'd, just, they'd give you whiskey both. They're going to ask you what 78 record you want to listen to. They're going to put a scalding hot towel on your face. Yeah. They're going to give you some pickles. They're going to make you sit on a small bench, and then they will trim pickles. your beard, and you will look like the hipsteriest person in Murfreesboro. Folks, hipsteriest, what? Northeast Murfreesboro is where all the Murfreesboro hipsters live, and that's where you want to go if you like people to look at you. You drove me past. I know you talked about it. You drove past there. I thought it was an old people's home. You said everyone out there is 20-something years old. Yep. Why do they want to look like they... I don't know old people. That don't make any sense. Wear old man clothes. Half of them look like you, Jackie. They had their beard dyed gray. Why? They were wearing your shoes. Why would they? I said, where'd you get them shoes? They said, from a catalog. I said, fuck, are you Jackie Bryce? Hey, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. And they said, I wish. I'd like to sit all these youngers down and have a talk with them, let them take a good hard look. Nobody wants to look like this. Nobody no, that's does. True. That's true. What the hell's wrong with you? You won't be. You're 20 something years old, why don't you look 20 damn years old? You don't need to be running around being an old man yet. I don't even really it. like what they did. I feel like they cut my mustache too short. I left my beard too long. It looked I, like Hugo Strange. I had Bobby years ago. I do it myself now. I just get scissors or tremors or whatever. Just kind of eyeball it's all I've ever No, been you got to get down to Spiffy Uncle no. Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. It's only $75 for a beard trim. Yeah, there's Bobby. He passed away. And I ain't everybody let this, this be. He was the only person I ever let cut the be. You know, Miss Boyle's every now and then. She said, let me get that one. You know, something sticking out too far. Whatever. But he, he always, I, I didn't, didn't want anybody to cut my beard. After this man passed. So I do it myself now. Of course, Miss Broll probably still be jabbing at every now and then, but she, you know, she has strokes. She can't right, do it anymore. Yeah. You like to pr play croquet after you get your beard trimmed? What? With the children set? Play what? You want to go on down to Spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes, folks? If you are in Northeast Murfreesboro, Gentrifying rapidly. Get down to Spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. They will give. They'll sell you some beard oil, Jackie. What do you want your beard to smell like? 
Well, I mean, smell like it. Probably smell like barbecue smoke. That's what I, I don't care how much it Yes, fancy. they actually have a scent. They have a can of oh. beard oil down there, a little jug of it, called Jackie Brawls Barbecue Smoke. They do not. Don't say they that. They do. I, I wouldn't get within 10 feet. I said, you guys, typical appropriation, gentrification, don't even know what you're talking about. The real Jackie Bros beard smells like shit. Hey, you do not want to put mouth. oil don't that come smells like Jackie Bros don't beard. Get anywhere near to smell it. Stay in away if you don't beard. like how it smells. I sit back there and work in a uh, hot, you know, smell coming up off of everything cooking, and, and it's all in there. All those smells, all those, you know, whatever's cooking's in the bed. Well, Crud it's, told me that he come down there. When he was working on his beard oil, and he was trying to get some authentic oil off of your beard. Do you remember Crud? You remember that guy with the face tattoo and the pork pie hat who come back there? And he He's had a ukulele. He, he pretended to be, be somebody from the Department of Health. Mm-hmm. And tried to make me put on a, a net or something. He said, let me. And, and I said, I ain't ever wore a net over this beard cooking. Since but not early 70s, 60s, you know, late 60s, it been a long time. And I wouldn't put it on. He said, no, it just, and you told me later that I've always got You got it. your DNA. I didn't put it on. How to get it? Because I would, he said, sure, it's, you have to wear this now. I said, you go well, get Every the, time you turned around, he had a long swab. And you he was just jabbing at the back of your beard. Well, that, he's a crazy person. I don't, anybody. Crud is try, not crazy. He's he, getting $75 for a beard trim. What? Seth, if he's impersonating somebody uh, works for the government, that's a federal offense. Of course, the FBI these days, they let you do whatever you want. They don't care. But he, if he's falsifying who he is. He, he impersonates in FBI all the time. Well. He said he interviewed Hillary Clinton. What? You can't do any of that. Nah, he, they, they don't care. He says half of them know it and they think it's funny. What? They're like, well, whatever. It's not like we're doing anything. F- he said FBI's on his last legs. I don't know anything about this Clud fella. All I know Crud. is he, if he comes in there saying he someone who he ain't again, I'll get police to remove him because he, you, that's you coming through the door under false pretenses, and that's that's. In my book, that's about as low as you get. That's snake in the grass right there. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Well, Crud took your uh, beard oil uh, sopping wet what? swab back to Crud's laboratory, and he said the smell almost knocked him down. Oh, so what he hell. did, he just got some liquid smoke and some sandalwood and tobacco, and that's the that's the he crushed up a light bulb, and a that's what bulb. that's what's in there. Well, he can a little have- ozone. He can do whatever he wants to wherever he's at. Let him stay over there and give haircuts. He better not step foot around this store. You you missed you missed you had one chance and you mess it up, Buster. You not welcome back to Jackie's. He's going on the list. He doesn't like to go outside of Northeast Murfreesboro. He said last time he came over went to Longhorn's dancing parlor and some people pulled on his mustache. So that is Spiffy Uncle Marlin's oh, haircuts okay. and handshakes. Get on down to Northeast Murfreesboro, the Murfreesboro's hipster section. You are going to want to get you some Jackie Bros uh, barbecue smoke scented beard oil. Rub all right. that all over your beard. Let me tell you, folks, you are going to be sliding that slick ass beard around a woman's. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. Vagina. Hey, what? I just said watch it. <laughs> If you recall last week, folks, I clued you in to the place where you want to take your beard right. to make that beard look like a damn hipster, shiny, beautiful beard that's going to get kissed and hugged. Why? You want to go down to Spiffy Uncle Marlin's oh, haircuts yeah. and handshakes, talk to Crud. He's wearing a hat. He'll jitterbug over to you. He's going to give you a shot of whiskey. He's got face tattoos. Crud is is going to shape your beard into something alluring 
and sexual. I would let sexual. I would let anybody that had tattoos on their face get anywhere near something close to me as my bed or something uh, in my. I no sir. Well, Jackie, it's the year 2016, and people do all sorts of horrible things well, to their bodies now, including face tattoos. And let me tell you something else, Jackie. You are the star of the moment down at Spiffy Uncle Marlin's Haircuts and Handshakes, located in the hipster district of Murfreesboro, yeah. northeast Murfreesboro, where all the hipsters make pickles and little benches. Right. Jackie, everybody in northeast Murfreesboro, in the rapidly gentrifying northeast Murfreesboro, wants to smell just like you. What the now, hell? Now, I told are you, you last him? time he had snuck in here. If he does something like it, this crud fellow, whatever, he had makeup on something because he, he wouldn't have gotten near as close to me if, he, if I'd have seen those tattoos on his face. But he tried to get me, say he's from my health department, tried to get me to put on him. Yep, he was trying to get your DNA. Well, whatever it is, he ain't getting nothing from me. That's crazy uh, stuff. And I'll right. get to play. If I ever see that man set foot in, in this store again, I'll get. I'll call the police. You don't. Well, he's trying to get me to put a net over my bed. And I've been working here for, I said, yeah, you know who you talk to. And he did because he was trying to get that smell, that Jackie Bro's beard smell. And I told him, you don't want the actual Ow. smell. So what he did, he did some like liquid smoke and some clothes and shit. And Jackie Bro's beard scent number one was flying off the shelf, especially uh, after we talked yeah, about it on I, here Somebody last week. that goes around impersonating government employees better not be using my name for anything. So he need to change the name Jackie to something else, beard. Because I don't want to be affiliated with somebody that does things like that. That they up to no good. Anybody that does like that, anybody that impersonates a government official is up to no good. If I ain't, if anybody says that, there's something that they ain't, they ain't no good. Well, do you remember then when that FBI agent came by last week and said he needed to use the bathroom real bad? And anybody use a bathroom, that ain't got nothing. That, that, well, who do you different. think that was? That was crud. Why? And he took some some clippings and some wipings, and he went home and he made Jackie Bro scent number two clean bathroom. Clippings and wipings. Like he went in there, like after you had cleaned the bathroom and got that that mop, you know that that sanitizer smell, and this lingering smell of the barbecue smoke, and you just your general musk. And also the the mustiness of the bathroom. I don't like this kind of talk. I don't like anybody trying to wiping anything that has to do with me. I don't, nobody, no, sir. The hipsters in Northeast Murfreesboro, they all, they dress like you, they look like you, and now they smell like you. Except not oh, really, because the smell, when he brought that back to his lab, he's like, I can't, nobody's going to want to put this in, in their face hair. Hey. And I said, just mix I up some other hipster no shit. no smell on me in somebody else's face hair. I thought that's mine. That's I own that. I get... Well, I, do you remember last week when that FBI agent came by and asked, said he was real tired and he asked if he could just sit in the cab of your truck for a second because he felt, he felt sick to his stomach and like he's going to pass out? And well, you got him was, at Gatorade? He was standing right there. I thought the man was sick. I gave him some Gatorade. Yeah, he paid me for it. He didn't, he didn't, just didn't give it to me. He said, mm -hmm. can you... And I was happy to do it. Somebody... Down on luck and just wants to buy something. You well, know. people get sick. And yeah, I don't want anybody to get sick. Somebody. Well, that was crud. That wasn't an FBI. What agent. the hell is crud he? came in? He and ain't all of these people. There ain't no way he could be. He is a master of disguise. You oh, know Don Paz. Right? I know Don Paz does. He dress up like wrestlers. And everything well, else. Crud. But learned. I don't know nothing about a crud person. But he better stay away from me. You remember when Don Paz was looking for an intern? He found one. It was Crud. Oh hell! And then Crud was like, "Well, I don't want, I don't want to do taxes." Well, I'll talk, I like Don Paz. He and I are friends. I'll talk to him about this Crud and tell, find out what I got to do. Keep this fellow away from me because that's all crazy. Everything that's wiping and trying to get smells. That's crazy, and I don't want anything he, around me. He took me. a snipping from the cab of your truck where the seat is frayed, and he took the snipping. Where it smelled like cigarettes right. and uh, the seat of your overalls and the open road and a sweltering day. All right, I don't like care what it smells like. It, uh, he don't have any right to any of this stuff, and he better stay away.
you know a, how a car seat on a 35 year old truck smells after baking in the sun uh. and just being on its last legs and cracking open you know how that smells well you can put that in your beard now folks some of you folks you may out there may be clean make- shaven you don't think that this is the truth you think we're making all this up just being silly trying to be funny on the podcast people go into these fancy hipster barber shops and they buy this beard oil and it smells like cloves or it smells like a campfire and they put it in their beard and they go out and they're like pretending to be whatever that is happening all over this country and it's spread to northeast murfreesboro and now you can go to Northeast Murfreesboro and smell like Jackie Brawls if you have $37 to buy a tiny can of stuff. $37? He ain't going to smell oil. like me. And if it's got my name on it, I'm going to get the real FBI go over there and straighten this out because you, somebody impersonates government, they're that's, that's, that's shifted, they ain't up to no good, and I don't want to be affiliated with them. No, sir. Well, you can get Jackie Brawls. No, beard you can't scent one. Get that. There ain't no reason to put anything in your bed but shampoo every now and then. That's it. Now, Miss Bros, this years ago when I was a young man, I don't do it so much now. I do it every now and then. It'll, you know, you see a light come up in her face or whatever. So she used to have me always put, put, where you, where you, shampoo and what's it, conditioner, conditioner. It's like the cream, whatever, rinse, whatever. You put that in there because your beard used to scratch her face, she said. She, she didn't like a wiry beard, so I used to got in the habit of putting that in. I don't do it that often now. Every now and then I'll do it and just go down there with, you know, we give her soup or something so she can get a whiff that smell or something. It make, makes her feel good, so I, I don't put, mind I doing it. I conditioner in my beard. I do some conditioner. How often do you do conditioner? I don't do it often. I maybe once or twice a week or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's about right. You got to keep it a little soft, right? Well, you never that's, know that's gonna... Miss Bulls asked me to do it years ago. Like I said, got in the habit of yeah. don't do it so much anymore. On them special nights. Oh, don't. Because let me tell you something. Somebody, you can give somebody a peck on the cheek or hold a hand or, you know, or hug eat them or out. Whatever. I'll just watch your mouth. I'm going to knock the hell out of you. You don't have to talk about that Look. part. I don't want to hit any Maybe of Maybe you don't, but let me tell my podcast bros. Nope. If you are going to. Well, y'all can talk about it with make yourselves. Make a special I night sit here and, listen and you to got it. a big old beard. You you want to condition all it. All right, I know. And you want to get some of this Just beard oil. Just shut your mouth. And you want to slide all around down there. Shut your mouth. Get this beard oil. It's sopping wet with oil. I'm going now, to maybe don't get it with the Jackie Brawl scent. I don't want to hear anything about anybody's beard. No, you just wash your beard shampoo every now and then, and that's the end of the story. They I don't want to talk about it anymore. Beard one that's regular. Beard, Jackie Brawl's beard scent two, clean bathroom. And Jackie Brawl's beard scent that, three, hot truck cab. You take that $25 and walk it over the beard town or wherever the hell he's at. It's and spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts. Whatever the hell it is. And you give that $25 back to crud and tell him he ain't no sponsor on this, never will be. And then take my name off of any smell or what. It, Whatever it is, I don't, I don't want my name on it. Why don't you tell him yourself? He's standing right over there. What? See that lamp? What? This week that I think you, especially you, are going to really enjoy this. I ain't going to enjoy any of it. i tell you right now, I don't even know what it is. Do you remember, it's been a big week at Jackie's Market, folks. Uh, I don't know, Jackie's, you must be exhausted. You had so many customers coming in there to get that delicious, delicious meat of yours and to get that... uh, to buy all them delicious cold drinks. Two rush hours every day is one for breakfast and then one for lunch. We don't stay open for dinner. Everybody come again and get a barbecue biscuit or get, you know. But if you come egg, by late, there's probably sandwich. some people sitting at the table drinking beer. Sometimes Jackie leaves them the keys to lock up. Well, if I got to go with people I know and trust, people I know, well, I, you know, they ain't stole nothing yet outside. I make sure you're, you ain't there. You go with me. Don't let Dunlap in. It's the first thing I tell him. I don't care how what he says happened. If he said he's in a car wreck, if he said somebody after him, 
Don't let them in. They know all the tricks. Stings, that, all they those things have happened, and they have not let me in. Well, good, good. They, they are following instructions. I trust weather gentlemen. Yeah, they can leave the keys. I leave with them anytime. Do you remember this week? Here's a funny story. Remember when that FBI agent came by this week, Jackie, and he said I fell outside and I hurt my knee. And you said, "Oh, lawsuit, laws." You said, "You said it out loud." You said, "Well, you better not sue me, but come on in here. Let's take a look at you." Well, I was making, trying to make light hard joke. I know he can't sue me for, for falling down on his own court. Uh, and I figured, you know, if you. FBI, whatever, Secret Service, whatever mm-hmm. the man was, you sitting down all day anyway. You're in the back of a van listening to something or whatever, right, so right. he got out. You know, But anyway, I was happy to give him some ointment, you know, put his knee spawn in a band that was, you know, when he was on his way. Do you remember when, uh, oh, man, this was crazy, too. Remember when that other FBI agent came by and he was on that horse? And he said, hey, watch this, and he he get in the parking lot and he rear the horse up that like trick, high, yeah. high, high old silver yeah. and he come out and she tried to get you up on there. I ain't gonna get on a damn horse. He's crazy. I, those days long behind me. That I was cool though. All the kids come outside and, and said, "Look well, at that." You know, that. right in these days right now, we need people in law enforcement trying to bond with you know people and trying to show that they're you know good and, and, and be on the good side of things. And I think I, I encourage that sort of behavior. If you work in law enforcement and you want to come entertain the children at Jackie's Market, you come do it any time. Uh, we need more like you. And then this was maybe, this was really crazy. This right. was fun, though. You remember when that FBI agent drove up in the snow cone truck? He said, free snow cones for everybody. And they started playing all them Jimmy Buffett songs. Well, I, I guess saw- that's why that's been in my head. I didn't know he that fellow was in the FBI. He never. I never. Oh, did he didn't to, tell you that. He didn't tell me. He said, "Why the hell's your FBI dude?" Moonlighting. He said, "You know, under Obama, they don't pay him like well, they should." I believe that. So That's he true. was getting a little extra money. I didn't know he was in the FBI, yeah. but I remember it was nice to give snow cones to. Yeah, give people. them yeah. snow cones away. To get I don't them. sell those here, so it wasn't hurting my business none. I'm happy. You know, he brought you one in there I, special. I, I didn't mind it. I like you know it's hot back there in the kitchen. It melted. Pretty much in my hand, but I'm still. He said they had cherry, the lime, juice. and grape, but they all tasted the same to me. Well, Guess what? All three of them was crud. What? All three of them was crud. Who owned Spiffy Uncle crud. Marlin's haircuts and handshakes? And he was in here getting your DNA what are you to make about? them special hipster beard oils that he sells in the hipster part of Murfreesboro in Northeast Murfreesboro. He got three. He got four. New smells, new beard, Jackie uh, Bowles. He ain't got nothing out of my All store. He the better hipsters not come dressed up act like an idiot in my damn store. To look and smell like Jackie Bowles. I'll Except kill. it's not really authentic. I know hipsters love authenticness, but the actual smells of Jackie Bowles, unless you've got a nose that's built up tolerance like mine has, you wouldn't be able to weather that snow. Hey. So these are just kind of, he comes and gets your DNAs and, DNAs, he and can't he tries get, I'm going to get a lawyer. I don't know if I believe you well, not. He's a man. Master of Disguise. He was in, he was Don Podge's intern, and he decided he didn't want to go into taxes. How do you get those FBI jackets like that? Don't everybody have those? You can't sell those. Where do you get will. that? Goodwill, my butt. He Good didn't will. get no FBI jacket at the Goodwill. Uh, hell hell yeah, the hell he did. did. If that's him, I don't know if I believe you. I told you, if he comes, if you are impersonating a, a person in law enforcement or any government official... That is a crime. That's a big crime, and I'm going to report it. It's a tribute. Tribute? It's a tribute to you and your popularity oh, in the hell, hipster world. I don't know anything about anybody doing anything with any beards, and they, but they better not be coming to my store and getting any kind of smell from there. You get your smell somewhere else. Nope, they got your smell, Jackie. No, sir, they, Although, they better not have. They Again, uh, the actual Jackie smell... Just it, for the human nose, is too much for All right. Just Last week, mouth. if you remember, the Jackie Bros beard scent one was just kind of the regular Jack, what Jackie Bros. You got to take my name off of any kind of it's smell. It's like cloves and uh, the crushed up some light bulbs, I think. And then beard scent two was clean bathroom. They went in there and they got uh, 
uh, after the disinfectant and general uh, bathroom musk and funk. Then I get anything out of my bathroom. That's my bathroom. You can including make... the smell. Everything is mine in that store. That's illegal to come under false pretenses, first off. It's a False tribute. pretenses. If he'd have come up and acted like a human being and shook my hand, looked me in the eye, said, do you mind if I get some smell out of your bathroom? I'd probably say, be my guest, crud, whatever the hell your name is. But this man is snaky, sneaky, low in the grass snake. It really bothers you when well, people it, it dress up. Well, it anybody. You ought not be doing that, dressing up, impersonating a law uh, official. Or I don't know why government. it's always an FBI agent. Well, I don't know sense. either. From the head on that, anybody says they're going to say FBI, I'm going to think twice about it. I don't well, care whether you got the don't jacket Don't give or not. away your position because crud, Crud's listening. Well, He's always listening. He can listen to whatever he wants. He better be listening. You'll be talking to a Nashville attorney. I may not be able to afford a 4-1 right off the bat, but if he looks into this case and he'll ask, all, all a lawyer has to do is ask how many times he dressed up like an FBI agent, and it's going on nine, ten times now, something like that. And if I answer that, that's the end of it. He going to prison, so you stop right now. Ain't no smell in this store belong to you or anybody else but me. These are my smells. This is my stuff, my bathroom, my kitchen, all of that stuff. You stay out of it. He and best not ever show his face around here. Another smell he got last week was hot truck cab. Well, he I'm going to say you right truck. now, if I see somebody from the FBI coming to this damn store, I'm going to do something first, ask questions after. Well, so, they uh, they... You sound like Clive and Bundy, first of well, all. Well, second I don't, of all, if somebody was trying to get Clive and Bundy smell or his son smell or something like that, it probably would have been the same way. They he, spell your name differently. They spell it with two K's. What? They started to spell it with three K's. I said, "Come on, fellas." What? That three ain't fair. K's. That ain't fair. Calling him a racist just because uh, he, he looks and sounds weasel, like one. He trying to weasel out, just trying to step around ways that I can't. That have him take my name. I know what the intent is, and also if I smell it and it smells like anything in this store, that's the end of it. That's that's. Hey, it. you got a little cartoon of you. You're like the new frequent barker. Better for not hipsters. have no cartoon of me, no sir. I don't know hips, whatever it is. No. Where they make the benches and pickles. I don't care what little they benches. I don't care anything about pickles or little. Too benches. small for a human to sit on. That should be the only thing it does. If that's what you do for a living, just do that. Don't go dressing up like somebody that you ain't and go in the store and get smells. Go don't do that. Fifty Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. He has face tattoos and a hat. And when you come in, he'll give you a shot of whiskey and jitterbug over to you and shape and. Uh, groom your beard into something beautiful, slippery, and sexual. Hell. Let me tell you some of these new smells he got this week. He got uh, Band-Aids, ointment, and medicine breath. What is it? I think that's when you were helping him with his skin up knee. Skin up knee. Band-Aids, ointment, and medicine breath. That's what? a new smell Why you can put in Why would anybody want to put that smell in anybody's beard? He sounds crazy to me. I don't understand this whole beard. Fa- you, yeah. You're ahead of the curve, Jackie. I ain't Fa- ahead Fashion nothing. forward. You can also get old lunch pail. Smell like banana peels, stale bread, and uh, wet bologna. All right, just cheap don't. aftershave and off-brand certs, like you'd get from a cheap store that sells certs. Why would anybody want? An oily sock rag, folks. All come right, get these just... new smells for your beard. Don't put any smells from my store on your beard. I tell every hipster. Whatever you are, if you go into this place and get no smells, I'll I'll skip a middleman. I go straight to you. If if you come, how you gonna around, tell what their beer smells it, it like? It smell like everything you just said, and they come from my store. I I'm in my store every day. I know what the hell it smells how like. How you gonna tell a a hipster beard from a redneck good old boy working man beard? What? How you gonna tell somebody whose beard smells like an old lunch pail naturally? From some hipster who works hard to get his beard to smell like an old lunch pail? Probably the hat. That's fair. Yeah. So that's Spiffy Uncle Marlin's don't, haircuts and handshakes. Get on down there and make your beard smell like don't something. Don't make your beard smell like anything from my damn store. No. So, Jackie, we didn't play the theme song. We did our sponsors. We did some news. We didn't talk about Roger. We could do more news. Or we just, just wrap play it the up. song. I need a break from this anyway. Play the damn song. Are we song. done? I just play the song and then I'll figure out whether I'm going to talk anymore. But then we gotta come anymore. back and do our All goodbye right, song. Whatever, All fine. Right. Okay, just I'll do play it. it. Hold on one second. Up. But 
here go. I got a good sponsor this week, and I tell you what, uh, I I'm just flattered to death, and I, I'll don't let me just get into it here. My sponsor is Spiffy Uncle Marlin's Haircuts and Handshakes. Now this place is something else. If you go there, uh. And got a beard. A lot of people there have a beard. Just about everybody got some sort of beard or something dressed like little old men. But they ain't old. They just dress like old men. But that's, you know, so be it. That's, that's a nice and as an old man, I take it as a tribute. I do. They, they told me that's what it was. So, uh, bless your hearts. Uh, Wait a minute. What? All, for the past two weeks, all you've done is run Spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes down. Well, I... And Crud, the let, owner, I, you said if you ever seen him come in the store again, let you... Me, let me explain myself. You have every right to bring that this up. This is me. Spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. Yeah, it's, it's in crud. the hipster part of town. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, in cr- northeast Murfreesboro. It's Crud, runs a place... He come in the store two, three times dressed as an FBI agent. And I did not, I still do not like that. He's a master of disguise, folks. He was Don Podge's intern, but he decided he didn't want to go into taxes. Now, he and I had a long talk. We headed over where I'd had just about what I thought was just about enough with all this stuff. Uh, taking my smells from my store. Yeah, he made a lot of smells. Uh, hipsters like to dress up like Jackie Bro, so he's had a lot of smells that he's got. He'd come in, the actual smells were too rough. So he'd have to go in his laboratory and make up some good. But he had he had uh, uh, clean bathroom scent. Oh yeah, that's hot. Right. Uh, just regular beard scent. Yeah. Hot truck cab. That yeah. was one. Uh, let's see, band aids, ointment, and medicine breath. Yep. Uh, old lunch pail. Yeah. A cheap aftershave and off-brand certs and oily sock rag. Those uh, are some of the scents. Well, he got some new ones, too. Wow, you love him. Now, you now love listen, Crud. Man, now listen. You love Crud. Now, I talked to Truck Crud. I went over to have a word or two with him because I still don't condone, never will anybody impersonating a government official. don't like people dressing up. Not at all. Uh, but Halloween, that's fine or whatever, but don't they, when you're trying to fool or trick people or something, Halloween's only not, just, they, that's legal. Rest of the time, don't do it. You shouldn't do it. Now, I had a long t- talk with Crud, and you know, and he listened to me. He knows I'm his elder, and I had good advice to give him. And he he sat there and listened, and he said, "Jackie Bros, I would have never, never done that. Bless his heart. This is just way it could be." He said, "Never wore dressed up if I'd have known. I was just. I like you so much. I was just embarrassed." I didn't know how to get in there to meet you and talk to you about your beard. I, you know, I didn't know what to do. I was all just a bunch of nerves fumbling, didn't know what to do. And I said, well, to myself, it's what Crud said to himself, like, who, who is someone who is, is, is strong and sturdy and can get in there and, and talk to someone that's, you know, FBI or something like that. So he put on the FBI uniform, uh, come in there, and like I said, don't approve that, but he was just... He was nervous. He didn't know how to go back. He didn't wasn't comfortable with himself enough to come in and just shake my hand, look me in the eye. Which, you know, after doing that with Crud, I think he's an enterprising, nice young man. I'm gonna say it right now. We had a talk. I don't think he's gonna be dressing up like that anymore. Uh, I told him the dangers of that, and I told him, you know, it's not good to do that. And he said, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. And I apologize. And he he said he was sorry. Like I said, look me in the eye, shook my hand, and I, he uh, took some pictures of my beard. All little little men, uh, there's like a row of them in the, in a barber chairs. They're getting it, they all want a picture with, with Jackie Rose here. Can you believe that? Every one of them. I just stood behind every one of them, back like I was cutting a beard. I had the scissors. They just went down the row and they said thank you, thank you. And then of course they, they want me to say that when I get you know. Can you give me autograph things like that? What? They were, well, they were buying the different scents, and some of those have, you know, pictures, or, you know, some picture looks like me, if it ain't necessarily me. It's got the overalls, you know, a flannel shirt and, and beard. Right, it, they spelled Jackie with two Ks. Two so. Ks, yeah. But, I mean, it's a, it's what you call a tribute is what Crud said, and bless his heart, that just that makes an old, old man's heart just... Uh, but just swell, bless, bless, bless his heart, and and all these young men, um, uh, I you know they should, in my opinion, probably dress like young men, act like young men. You don't want to start dressing like you're seventy five years old, when you in your teens and twenties. Uh, you can grow a beard, that's fine, but just know you won't be dressing like that later on. You should dress what you know what old people don't look good in, which is jeans and t shirt, 
uh, do that now when you're young. So, so you, what? What? What do people, old people not look good in? Like I, shorts and t-shirts and t-shirts and jeans. The old person just don't. I mean, real old person. Unless he's at the YMCA or something like that. That's fine. But just walk around shopping in a in a store. Or somebody 75, 80 years old with some shorts on and a, just. A, a, Why do you not? What do you not like about that? Have some respect. Uh, cover yourself. You oh, you know, it's not that your body looks bad. I don't mean it that way. Just look like your age. You know. What being, are they supposed to wear? Well, at least a, a, a button-down shirt and some pants, or even jeans is a little. You know, I guess my so work jeans are pushing it. If you're over sixty-five, well, it depends on how tight they are and well, things that's like true. that. You know, don't that's try good, to go around well, showing right. off at that age. You know, because to me, that's just a look at me. Look at me. I'm still young. No, you ain't. You're old. Dress like you're old. And these young people, they should dress like they're young. But so be it. Uh, bless their little hearts. All of them just nice. They all come up wanting to shake old Jackie Bro's hand. And, and I said, yo, well, I understand now. I said, we had a misunderstanding. I, and that next time you come in, you just come in as your, as your little old man looking self and just come on in there. And, you know, I didn't approve all them uh, tattoos and stuff. I don't like tattoos, but so be it. Uh, to each his own, I say, I wouldn't have any on me, but, uh, crud, come on in any time, uh, you're welcome, and I'm happy to have you as sponsor now that I understand things, and let me get to, uh, uh, Spiffy Uncle Marlon's haircuts and handshakes, uh, they got, uh, three new, uh, beard smells, flavors, whatever you want to call it, uh, come in a little bottle, and, and these are, and he said in the future, he might come in and let me, help come up with some smells and and he doesn't have to do that crud you don't have to do that you're an enterprising young man uh you inspired by jackie bros i don't understand how but so be it bless your heart and you've gone out there and you made a business for yourself and you are a right upstanding young man as long as you don't dress up like a fbi or any other government official uh you got a good thing going keep it up so you don't need me coming in there but i'm happy to help if you want uh, but these three uh, uh, new uh, beard smells, beard ointment, whatever you want to call it, uh, the one they got is, and it's something else, I tell you what, it smells just like you, you was there. Uh, it's called Vinegar Kitchen. Uh, and it smells like, you know, I've been back here, you know, you, there's so much uh, vinegar I got to do with barbecue, you know, to get the meat just right the way I like to do it. I got a lot of vinegar involved. And uh, Vinegar Kitchen smells good. If you want some beer smelling like Vinegar Kitchen, that's what you want to get. Uh, another new one is Grapefruit Drano Snuff. I uh, didn't smell that one, but uh, he got a good thing going. Like I said, a lot of people, all those young men lining up to get a little smell on the beard from old crud. And then number three is Hot and Spicy. And I'm wearing a little bit of that right now if you want to smell my beard. No, I don't. No, I put a little Hot and Spicy in there. Come on, smell it. A little Hot and Spicy. I may not dress like a like an old man, but... You can smell it. I smell like a, dress like a young man. I say. You can smell. You smell it. Get right in your nose. I'm hot. gonna say it smells better. Hot and spicy. Uh, you, if you want your beard to smell better, that's right. It's a old crud. Hot and spicy on the beard. Now, spiffy. I'm gonna say it smells better. Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. All, all you young men go down there and get your beard like old Jackie Bros want to smell just like Jackie Bro. Bless your hearts. You make an old man feel good about himself. Uh, don't try to get old too quick, though. Uh, wear some uh, flip flops and, and you know sneakers or something, and, and go play ball or something. You don't don't be just sitting around doing beard all day. But to each his own. Again, I'm I'm flattered. I just want what's best for all you young gentlemen. Uh, you make an old man proud. There's Spiffy, uh, Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. Uh, Crud, thank you so much. You, you touch the old man's heart. Best of luck to you, sir. Well, Jackie, I wish I could find some way to run you down. I wish what? I could find some way to make fun of those poor, I, deluded fools yep. sitting in barber chairs and wanted to look like you and smell like you, shook your hand as if that was something special. Well, it was to us anyway, me oh. and them. I don't 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 need any uh, snide comment from you to. Make it any worse or better. Just I wish I could come up with some insulting, uh, demeaning job to throw at you, but I just put my nose in your beard and it smelled like them. Uh, what do you call them? Cheese flavored crackers, the square ones, uh, hot and spicy ones, and them. Yeah, 
I didn't think about that. That's, that's, that's what that smell I couldn't put my finger on. It's there's a definitely a it's cheese. cheese. It's a cheese And thing. it's not in there. Cause maybe was, it should be called hot and cheesy. It smells like, and it's not one thing at Taco Bell. It's like a, a several different things from Taco Bell in a bag. It, it, you know, if you just got tacos, it don't smell like that. Like if you got a taco, a chimichanga, uh, uh, one of those Dorito, what is it, the Dorito uh, uh Shell tacos, uh-huh. you get all of those in a bag when you go in up there, and you get that bag in your car. It smells smells like that. I call that a sweet jumble. Yeah. Then what'd you get at Taco Bell? A sweet jumble. All that stuff. And good, it is yeah. what that smells like. So yeah. it's hot and hot and cheesy. But cheesy, that's the thing I missed. Yep, yeah, I I didn't have them put my finger on. What is that? That it's a cheese. Yeah. Sponsor now. We'll get that over with. Just get that over with. Get it out. We're here for you. We, when you need us, we'll be here. All state. What is it? Is that all state? You're not, like a state farm is there. Like a good neighbor. Yep. That's it. State farm, that's folks. Not, no, that's not my sponsor. I let me tell you my sponsor. I got a good sponsor come back, and I tell you what, uh, just a, a lot of. A fun, a lot of good stuff over there happening all the time. Everybody just, I, and I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I try to stop by on my way home after work, and they, and people getting their beers done up, and it's just they, it warms an old man's heart. I'll say it that way. But his spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes, and I tell you what, they just, they, they go in there and they get you. Get your beard done up. Get your beard just right. If you're one of them young young folks that likes to dress like your old person, I used to look down. I don't think it's a little silly, but you know they just have a good time. Why? why if they want to, you still going over there that hipster barber shop? Well, if they won't dress up like me, you know, wear a shirt like me, well, you know, I, I'm trying to get these jacky hats. I can't make enough of them. It sounds these. like it's over to me. It well, sounds, it like, sounds like it's yeah, over. It sounds like it's last well, week. Well, I don't last know. week well, to me. Well, this week is what the hell. Now, this reason I want everybody to come down there, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be at Spiffy Uncle Marlin's hair, Haircuts and Hand Shades. They're having Jackie Cone. That's right, Jackie Cone. Everybody go to all these young fellas. Who like, they're going to be dressed up just like old Jackie sitting right what? here. You'll be wondering who's who there, I guess. I'm going to go there and do some signings. I said I, when I'm going to stop, what? I guess. What are you going to sign? I'm going to sign beds. That's what the, the beds, everybody got the bed. They got the little thing you spray on the bed or something. Somehow, I don't know, but I'm going to sign, sign everybody's beds. Uh, they're going to be get your picture made with me. I just, I, like well, I said. You, you can come by here and take a picture with you for I mean, free. Why don't we come by here and take a picture? No, they're getting a, not if you're getting your bed done up, getting good smell put on it and yeah. all that fancy stuff. Good smell. To it. They offer to do mine for free, and I said, that's that, I appreciate that, boys, but my beard, I've had this beard done up myself, trimmed it up myself for, for up to now. I'm going to keep doing it. Might as well. I don't see any reason. You know, I bless your hearts, oh, bless your hearts. But now, not only are we having a, a jacket cone, they're going to be introducing uh, uh, three new bed uh, scents or flavors or whatever you want to call things you put the smell on the bed. And uh, I'm excited to, to, to announce this. So come down there, dress up, put your best jacket outfit on, I guess. <laughs> Blue don't jeans. do it. People and don't then, uh, do that. Come on down there, get your bed looking good, and get on down no. there and there, get your bed looking good. Don't and, go to Jackie and enjoy Con. these two, uh, three new uh, uh, sense of flavors, bed sense, whatever you want to call it. Uh, is the first one's called Under the House, Under the House, smell what I'm. Uh, drop cloth, the dog give birth on, and weird hay. Weird hay is the name of it. That uh, sounds weird. as bad as the way your beard I mean, actually smells. What do you mean, like, actually smells? I mean, your beard smells. That's just funny. You know, names that like to call it different smells. People, you know, say that's. That that's, place is going to stink. Well, that's that's going to be stink. the stinkingest no. Jackie Con i ever been to. No, no, no. It ain't going to stink. All it's them gonna, smells. It's all them be beards. bunch of good smells. All those smells, those beard smells that they have. Everybody's going to have their favorite beard smell on, and it's going to intermingle, and all that 
uh, fun smells going to be in the air and everybody going to be dressed up like old Jackie here. Nobody's going to do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to go to that. And I won't get, I come get your picture made. I'll sign your, I'll sign no. your bed and be sure and get one of the uh, great new uh, bed scents under the house. Uh, drop. Uh, cloth the dog give birth on a wet wet wear I can't say wet wet hay wear the weird wet hay is the name of it so uh, get on down there to uh, Spiffy Uncle Molly's haircuts and handshakes and and for Jackie Cone I'm excited I, nobody's ever done a thing like this for nobody's me before go to that. and I Don't can't wait to excited. see well I'm excited I, well, I those fellas sit down there they ask me. Up. They just love to sit around there, and I, you know, I got to get home, Miss Brule. So we got a home house now, and I can't afford to keep my own all night. And I'm, and lately, been working an extra few hours because I go down there, and they just ask me. Yeah, ain't a question about my beard. They, those youngins, ain't ever asked me yet. And I, some they, some of them, I can't even answer. I said, well, I don't even know. I never thought about that. Didn't know there's that many questions about someone's beard. Is that where you go? I thought you. Is that where you're going every well, night? Well, Crud, you know, he he always says, if you want to come by, uh, you know, it's just like with the old days, you go into the barber shop and you talk to your friends and how you doing. It's kind of reminiscent of that, except it's all young people dressed like old people did when people did that. And, uh, you know, and the smells is a little different, these new modern smells, but... But it's just, it is like, to me, it's just like old days. And nice. you sit there and huh. you get to commune with your friends. And they, talk, they like I said, they ask me questions about my beard. No, I, I pass on uh, whatever beard knowledge I have from, from so many years of having a beard and let these youngers know about, you know. And they got good beards, too. I ain't, ain't just mine. I, you know, I say, well, thank you kindly. You got a nice beard as well. So uh, all these young fellas uh, dressed like old men, uh, got long beards, uh, different weird kind of mustaches, weird hay mustaches. Uh, you won't go down there to Spiffy, Uncle Marlin's haircuts and hand Of course, if you want to see them dressed different ways, you don't want to go on Jackie Cone, because on Jackie Cone, and she's sweeping. I'm gonna be just like yours, truly, right here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to get a picture of me and a bunch of all these young fellas, uh, the beds and dressed up in overall like that. That's just it warms an old man's heart. So thank you kindly, and I appreciate it. It's good sponsor to have, especially Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. Get over there this weekend for Jackie Cone. I'm gonna be there. I'll sign your bed. You can ask me any questions. Any that, questions you want. Is that where you went Friday night? Well, I've been stopping by there. You but know, I what? thought we were gonna go see Star Trek. Well, I'll, I'll see Star Trek when it comes on. I hear it's good. I heard you know, I don't necessarily have to go move a house to see it. Just wait for it to come on cable. If it's one of those, Star Trek started on TV, too. Star Trek is begun on TV, and as far as I'm concerned, can end on TV. So I can see Star Trek at home on TV. There ain't going to be no difference to me. Well, you snuck out the back is the only thing. Well, I get you. Maybe I want to ask you some questions about your beard. Well. How do you... How do you get it so bristly? Well, I don't... I feel uncomfortable answering. I really need to save these answers up for Jackie no, Cone cool. if you won't come I can't talk about my questions. beard either I'm going to do well that's that not fair because they say they all listen to this and if they want to have no, questions about my beard don't want to ruin it well, on here if they, they got questions have... about my beard they can come ask me at Dunlap Con and uh, well, Dunlap I got a new Con. scent I got a beard scent I'm working what on what are you too. talking about Dunlap I'm working Con. on a new beard scent for myself it smells like my beard I won't see you smell like just dried up old beer dripping what it smells like and mustard well sometimes depending on what's, what compliments I got left Folks say you had a good sponsor, have a good sponsor this week. I'm used to saying that. That's what I usually say when I have a sponsor because that's how I feel. This time it just came out. I don't necessarily feel that way. Even though we're dressed up, nobody had a badge, nobody was being law enforcement, nobody doing anything like that. They just dressed up like little old me. Now I went down there, cruddy, spiffy Uncle Marlin's haircuts and handshakes. Now I had nothing but good things to say about these people. They flattered me, nice as can be. Uh, 
love my bed and love all the smells inspired by the store. I told Crud, you know, if you want to come get some smells, come talk to me and look me in the eye, shake my hand, tell me your real name. Uh, Crud is, you know, I nickname him, I guess. I wouldn't name him by Crud, but that's so be it. And all these young people want to dress like little old men and nothing wrong with that. If that's what they want to do, they regret it. You talk about regrets, all these. When they're saying, looking back at your pictures, when you get get old, when you get your picture album out of the closet, and you look back, you're going to say, well, you always 60-something years old, daddy or whatever, because you dressed like an old man when you was 20-something years old, had a beard, that thing. But so be it. So be it. All these fellas down there... Said to love Jackie Bros, and I'm like I said, flat ass could be nothing wrong with going somewhere and get your beer chinned up, getting the smell on it that you like. I agreed to go what to call this thing, J- Jackie Jackie Con is what to call it. Want me come down there, sign people's beards, happy to do it. He, they told me how many people like them, how many people wish they had a beard like you, all oh, this on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, people gonna come dressed up just like you, Jackie, like I do. Well, your superheroes, all that stuff we went two years ago. They, and I said, well, that's, I'm flat. If I got time, I'll come down there. I had to. Said, they should set this booth up and everything. You can go stand right here. If you can give it four or five minutes of your time, depending on how many people come, will you sign everybody's bed? I said, well, I, I'm flat. If they want me to sign the bed, I'll sign the bills. And sure enough, I get down there, I went down there, and flat, there was a, there was a bunch of people there. I was surprised there was more than I thought I was going to see, I'll say that. Everybody had on overalls, red flannel shirt, uh, had some jacket hats. I don't know how they got them, but they got a hold of some jacket hats and made the owner with jacket market hats. And they was just, you know, however they got the beard to change the color of mine, they did put something on the beard, I don't know what it was, they put something on the beard to make it look like this color. And everybody was trying to do my voice. Some people could do it good. Some people couldn't. I bet Rich Little could do it another reason. Not that I want him to impersonate me, but he could do he do good about anybody. But these people, I, I was flat as could be. It made an old man's uh, uh, heart feel good, uh, just sweet as could be. So I was trying to get up there and make my way to where they said, you know, last time I saw them, there, here's your booth. They're going to stand right here. People get in line, and there's people long line. People dressed up, just everything. I get up there, and I said, well, here, I'm ready to sign uh, all these beds. And they said, oh, excuse me, who do you think you are? I said, well, I said, nah, I understand. Maybe you didn't uh, look like everybody else. I said, well, I'm I'm Jackie Bros. And they said, well, you ain't Jackie Bros. I know Jackie Bros, and you ain't no Jackie Bros. You know, I said, well, I, I am too, Jackie Bros. Said, everybody here dressed up. You dressed up just like everybody else. Said, no, I'm Jackie Bro. I took my wallet out, took my ID, showed it to him. Uh, you know, he's pretty much this without the hat on. It, it, he looked at that. He said, anybody get one of these, mate, and throw it. Throw it on the ground. My driver license. Well, I was, oh, I was mad as hell in. About the time I had been down there, all these people around, I'd been down and get my driver license, put it back in the thing. I come up. And there is, there he is right there, dressed up just like me. And I know who it was. And they would say, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Jackie Bros. And I said, well, I don't know how he's coming there because I'm out here trying to find my damn driver's license in, on the pavement. And he's up there and signing everybody bill. People are clapping and everything else. I said, that ain't Jackie Bros. That ain't said, you trying to ruin it for everybody to get in line and try to make me stand in line to get my bed signed by what they thought was me. And it wasn't even me. And I wouldn't have nobody sign my bed no how. I don't care. Who was it? It was Crud. Signed. That makes why sense. Was, He's a master of disguise. And why? the most famous Jackie Bros cosplayer in the world. It why? makes sense that everybody would want to line up to get him to sign their beards. He's famous. I don't care about it. I didn't think I was famous if that's what you're saying. No, you're they, not. No, they asked me. I didn't say, can Did I come Did they stand down in line like they did for crud. I mean, all you in line. are is the person that they're all dressing up like. They ask me to come down there and sign people's beds. And there were some of them young people dressed like old men standing around. Now dressed up me. This is this is the week before. They showed me the booth and where to go, all this stuff. They and I said, Well, I'd be honored. I'll be there. Why the hell would you want me to come down there and then turn around and do that? 
There must have been some sort of mix-up. Well, there was some mixed up. I'd mad as hell somebody throw an old man's uh, driving license <laughs> down on the ground That's like that. That's funny, though. I've never seen that happen. That's well, pretty funny. So you could have made this anywhere. So I got made apartment motor vehicles here in Tennessee where I made this thing. Now I go pick it up. Like so what would you do? Just continue to cause a scene until they called the police? No, I've got the hell out. I ain't going to be disrespected like that. I said crud. I kept screaming crud. And then the rest of them started mimicking me. I was like crud. And they'd all go crud. Like everybody crud. Trying to sound like me. Everybody doing the same thing. It's like and a him nightmare. Up there. I, you're right it was. And I said I ain't going to sit there and be made fun of. But I don't understand why the hell, if that's how you feel, or if they, if so be it, it ain't hurt my feelings or nothing. It's just why the hell you'll make me uh, take time out of my day to come down there and be nice enough to sign people's beards and then turn around and do that. For no, I don't know what the well, hell. Well, it just sounds like there was some sort of mix up. Well, Did you buy any beard oil to. Well, to why rub was on he your... up there acting like he was me and telling everybody he was me? That's I, called cosplay. I Jackie. don't know what the hell it is. People supposedly went there to get the bear signed by Jackie Bros. Crud ain't Jackie Bros. I don't care what he's dressed like. Was anybody was anybody dressed up like me? Huh? Did anybody cosplay no, as anybody, Dunlap? No, nobody dressed up like you. What the Not hell, even some, one person. Why the hell somebody be dressed up like you? That don't make any damn sense. Well, I, I got a beard, too. Yeah. Well, Spiffy Uncle Marlin's handshakes, haircut, whatever. This is the last time you're going to be a sponsor on here. I ain't falling for that anymore. Good on you, crud, not to dress up like a government official. I know I feel like I may have had a little sway in that. If you still need to dress up, pretend you're somebody else, so be it. But as long as you ain't doing it, as an FBI agent or any kind of government official, I'll just take that credit, at least get a little words of wisdom to him somehow. But that's the end of it. I Don't don't waste the old man's time. I ain't got too much longer to live, and I don't want to spend it picking up my driver's license and everybody mocking me. That's not how I want to spend the rest of my, rest of my days. So just dress up, do whatever you want to do. I, like I said, can't afford a, a fancy Nashville lawyer, but there may be a lawyer around here who may want to talk to me, and we'll talk about some of them smells you get from his store. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about legal about that. Now, you know, if you want to be a gentleman and talk about it beforehand, that's fine. But if not, I'm going to talk to, like I said, not a Nashville lawyer. Maybe you know, Murphy a lawyer, but either way, a lawyer either way. So I'm going to leave it at that. I, and I'm you can't do nothing to me because you give me $25 to promote your thing and, and talk about it, and I did it. And I'm telling the truth. I can get you an Estel Springs lawyer. Why? How, How much? much? Oh, that cheap. Cheap. Well, if I won't come talk to me, man, come down to the store or something. Give me a phone number, I'll call somebody. Well, it sounds like you had a great time at Jackie Con, Jackie, I meeting all the cosplayers time. and uh, signing and getting paid for, you, you got paid for a signature, right? They had to buy I a picture? I didn't get paid nothing. All I got was uh, having to bend over my old back, pick up my driver's license, and everybody mocked me. That's it. Did you not bring enough Sharpies? I didn't bring nothing with me. They said to bring yourself and then sign everybody's beard. That's what I was going to do. Didn't need me there, except to be, I guess, be mocked. And uh, I got better things to do with my time. Did you see me there? I didn't see you there, no. Nobody, you, you, I, I didn't see you or you. anybody dressed up like you. Or no, I went in, I was looking for Dunlap cosplayers, but I was dressed up like you. I, I put some stuff in my beard. Well, if you, saw, if you saw all that going on, I appreciate your help, appreciate your support. There. I helped, remember when I kicked your driver's license? Ah, oh, you... S-O-B. You I remember just, that? Just watch your mouth. If you, you said you, this. Because you even said you're too fat to be Jackie Bro. Well. And I said, well, you keep eating like you do, old man. Well, yeah, eating and then like I, I kicked do. that, kick that driver's license. Eat like this all my years. I'm still still living and getting around and able to get up well, and down. You Thank know, goodness. Rich Little. But we had a lot of fun. I got crud to sign my beard. Yeah, Folks, I got a sponsor that I think you're really going to. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home red state update podcast of men.